Okay, so if your download is completed, just uh, take the zip and open it, and it will extract uh, the related files to complete the installation. And uh, it doesn't matter if you're in Mac or if you're in Windows again, if you're in Windows, you have to just click next, next, next. And if you're in Mac, just take this and drag it into uh, your applications folder, okay? In order to reach the applications folder, just open the finder, find it, and take this and drag it in here. So I already have the Android Studio 3 preview in here, so I'm not going to uh, just replace it, but rather delete this. And if you're on Windows, just click next, next, and next and finish your setup process. So after doing that, just uh, open the Android Studio 3 and it will take you through a screen looking like this. And here we go. Yes, this one. And this is the main opening uh, screen for Android Studio. What we have to do before we go on and create our first project is that we have to set up our configuration. So go to here under Studio and uh, look for preferences. Uh, maybe if you're on Windows, this, uh, this can be like settings or something, but uh, it's preferences or settings. Anyway, so just choose this and over here what we want to do is go to editor and under general you will see something called auto import okay so if if these options are not checked uh please check it all okay so i will later tell what does this auto import do and its importance later on in lectures, but uh, please know that this is very important. Okay, after doing this auto import thing, uh, you can just go to appearance here and check show line numbers, if this is not already checked, and click on OK. And what we have to do next is to go to configure here and choose SDK manager. So this software development kit manager is actually uh, telling us what versions of Android uh, that, that is installed in our computer and what versions of Android uh, we can write our code and try uh, our code into, okay? So I can write and try uh, the code in Android 8, which is Android O. So these are different versions of Android, okay? So it started with Eclair and now it's in Android O. So it's all dessert names as you can see. So Honeycomb, Ice Cream, Jelly Bean, Kit Kat, Lollipop, Marshmallow, Nougat, and finally O. So O stands for what we don't know yet uh, as of uh, now July. Maybe they will announce it in September. Uh, everybody thinks that it's going to be Oreo, but I don't know, and it doesn't matter. So if you just click on this show package details, uh, you will see uh, the subcategories of this SDKs. And since we are not going to develop anything related to television or Android VR, I didn't choose down those SDKs, as you can see. Uh, but we're going to develop everything in Android 8, so SDK Platform 26 is checked. So by the uh, by the time you are doing this you're most probably you most probably going to see 
that is, is not installed as a status. So please check this Android SDK platform 26 and Google Play Intel X86 uh, Atom system image. Okay. And I have already downloaded the NuGet version of this Android as well because maybe I will need those. Uh, you may not choose to do it so, but uh, if you have some space in your MacBook, like uh, it, it takes up like 500 megabytes or something, I recommend you to install SDK Platform 25 as well. So check this and uh, I think you should not install this one. So this is all for me. And these are okay. So after checking this, go to SDK tools and search for these versions. So Android SDK build tools 26. If it's not installed, uh, you have to check this. Android emulator. This is the simulator emulator in order us to be able to see what our code looks like in real phones or in real tablets. So you definitely want this emulator, SDK platform tools, SDK tools, you want this. Okay. Uh, if you have, if, if this is not checked, you definitely want this emulator accelerator. So it really accelerates. It really speeds up the emulator. Uh, if you don't, install this your emulator will be slow so you will just get demotivated every time you write code and try to simulate it okay so just click this and for a support repository just click all of those okay and sdk update sites is the update websites related to sdks that you have already downloaded okay so after checking all of this uh, click ok and it will prompt you to install the related SDKs first download it and install it and it will take care of uh, all the download and installation process by itself but uh, be sure you complete all the steps before you create your first project okay and when you're ready just go to the next lecture.